What's up guys, welcome to the 5th tutorial of creating music for video games and we are going to see how to implement the fade in and fade out functions and if you are not following this series it's ok but I really recommend that you check the last tutorials I left in the description if you want to create a powerful audio manager for your game Last tutorials we created core functions of our audio manager like play one sound and play randomly from a list but now we are missing the fade in and the fade out functions and to create fades I use coroutines and I say static I enumerator fade in copy and paste this to the fade out and in the fade in is going to receive the number of the track that we want to fade in the speed at which we want to fade in and the maximum volume and before we proceed we need to declare two booleans one called keep fading in and the other one keep fading out and this will allow us to interrupt a fade in if we want to fade out at the same time and vice versa otherwise it would be a mess believe me so now in the fade in coroutine we say keep fading is true and keep fading out is false we want to also to set the volume of the audio source of the track to zero and create a local float audio volume that is going to be equal to the audio source track volume and now while audio source volume is less than the max volume and we want to keep fading in we add to the audio volume the speed and the audio source volume now is going to be equal to the audio volume since unity doesn't allow us to increment directly on the audio source and now we say yield return new weight for seconds 0.1 and that's it for the fade in for the fade out is pretty much the same but we don't need a max volume and we can copy the rest and the keep fading in is false now and the keep fading out is true obviously and we don't want to set the track volume to zero and we create the audio volume float and we say that while the track audio source volume is bigger or equal to the speed and we want to make sure that the keep fading out is true now we remove from the audio volume the speed that we are going to send and pass the audio volume to the audio source ok so now if you go to the fps sound script and try to access the fade in or the fade out we just can't and that's because this is static so we need a function that can access the i enumerator from the inside and for that i use something that i like to name colors so it's going to be fade in color which has the same parameters as the fade in but if i try to call the start coroutine i just can't again and that's because I need to create an instance of this script so it's going to be public static sound manager script instance and in the awake function we say that the instance equals this script and now with the instance we can access the start coroutine open brackets and say fade in and pass the variables do the same thing for the fade out color and now in the fps sound script we have access to the fade in color and we can say that it's a track 0 that we want to fade in at the speed of 0.01 and the max volume is the volume of this track so we can access the track list in the sound manager script and we can pass the track and do it like this now do the same for the drums so we can fade them in smoothly and now we want to add our sound manager script to this sound manager object we created in the beginning and if you press play you can already hear the fade in so that's it for this tutorial guys as you can see this script is quite powerful in my opinion and in the next tutorial we see how to loop and most importantly we see how to change the music if there is an enemy nearby. 
So thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate the support and subscribe for weekly game development tutorials. See you in the next tutorial.